Well, taking a live look at Riverfront Park in downtown Spokane. Snow still falling at this hour all across the inland northwest. And listen to this. The National Weather Service just said that we have set a record for snowfall on this date, December 30th, with seven and a half inches of snow in Spokane so far. Our region also under a winter storm warning until tomorrow morning. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremlin News at 5 tonight. I'm Mark Hanrahan. Welcome everyone. I'm Regina on Whitney is off tonight. Well, yeah, up to eight inches of snow is expected around the Spokane area and up to one foot for Coeur d'Alene. We are bringing you team coverage tonight from all across the region. We have Michelle Boss bringing us weather updates from home tonight and our Morgan Trow is joining us from Spokane South Hill. We want to first send things over to Amanda Rowley joining us from Coeur d'Alene tonight. Hi there, Amanda. Good evening, Regina and Mark. Yeah, we're here on the Government Way overpass off I-90 in Coeur d'Alene. I want to give you a live look here at what roads are looking like on the freeway right now. Traffic in this area is looking pretty good. And good news here, though, is the roads are mostly looking bare and wet. We've been checking for updates on any crashes to be aware of. Idaho State Police have not really reported many crashes today, which is a good thing. And any crashes that happened have already been cleared so far. So right Right now the commuter is looking pretty good through Coeur d'Alene. We did drive through downtown Coeur d'Alene. I want to let you take a look at this time lapse video we sent back earlier. There was quite a bit of slush that was slick on the road. We drove through Government Way into downtown Coeur d'Alene. Now it has cleared up quite a bit since this video was taken. But I will still say it's highly recommended you still drive slow, slower than usual and give extra space to the folks who are in front of you. Coming back live out here on the Government Way overpass, I want to give you a quick look at how the roads are looking right here on the street roads. Again, there's snow still falling in the area. We're seeing an accumulation of snow on the roads and slush. Once it gets colder, though, this could get more slick. So beware of that on your commute home this evening. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene tonight, Amanda Roldy, Prem 2 News. All right, good advice, Amanda. Thank you. Well, the snow has been piling up all day, and this could be the heaviest snow we've seen all season. Meteorologist Michelle Boss reporting from home tonight. So, Michelle, I know we had a big snowstorm in October. How does this one compare? Yeah, so back on October uh, 23rd and 24th, we picked up 7.5 inches of snow over two days, 6.9 inches on the 23rd, then another 6 tenths of an inch on the 24th. So before today, that was our heaviest snowfall of the season, but the official total at the Spokane Airport as of 4 o'clock is 7.5 inches, and it's still snowing. And as you and Mark mentioned earlier, this does break a record. The previous record was 5.4 inches of snow that was set back in 1990. So breaking kind of a long record there. And again, it is still snowing. As we take a live look outside, uh, or take a look at Storm Tracker 2 satellite and radar, we're seeing snow continuing in the Spokane area, but we are seeing some of that uh, warmer air and some of that rain mix getting closer and closer. So we could see some rain mixing in with that snow. That'll cut down on accumulation somewhat, but still expecting an additional several inches during the overnight hours. So winter storm warnings in the area shaded in pink do continue through tomorrow morning. Winter weather advisories for the uh, area shaded in purple. 33 degrees in Spokane right now, so the snow a lot lot wetter this afternoon than what we saw earlier this morning. It was a little bit easier to shovel. Hopefully you got that done this morning. 30 in Coeur d'Alene, freezing in Moses Lake right now at 32 and upper 30s in Lewiston. Here's a look at the next three days. A little bit more snow tomorrow morning. Should be drying out for New Year's night. High temperature tomorrow 36. Rain and snow return Friday night with a high of 38 and then just plain old rain for Saturday in the lower elevation. Highs near 40 degrees. Michelle, thank you very much. We'll check back in with you later in the broadcast. Meantime, if you are wondering when snow plows are coming to your area during the Spokane Full City Plow, you can track their progress live. Take a look at your screen. Here's a map of the snow removal progress of Spokane right now. The green means complete, purple means working or being monitored, and red means next. You can actually interact with this map right now by going to myspokanecity.org. Scroll down on the homepage, click on Snow Info. You can even click on an entire neighborhood to see the progress there. This map is only activated during full city plows. You can also go to cdaid.org snow for a similar map of Coeur d'Alene's plow schedule. So here is a list of snow removal hotlines for our area. For Spokane, call 311. Spokane County residents should use 509-477-2666. If you need snow removed outside city limits, call 509-755-CITY. Now for Coeur d'Alene, call 208-769-2233. Live customer service representatives will be available from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. And there are some weekend hours during full city plow events. 
If you live in Spokane, you are asked to park on the odd side of the street in residential areas during snow season, which runs until March 15th. The odd side of the street includes odd number addresses. Downtown on snowy days, on street parking will be prohibited between midnight and 6 a.m. Cars may be towed downtown if they're not moved, so heads up there. And we also want to get a look at how the city of Spokane is taking on this snowstorm. So that's where we find our Morgan Trout tonight. She is joining us from Manitou Park on South Hill. Morgan, I know that's a hot spot for sledders when it's snowing outside. Anyone out there tonight? For so many people out here tonight, you may be able to see there's still some up there on the hill, but not only is there sledding, there's tubing. People have been snowshoeing, building snowmen, and luckily for me, a snowball fight actually just ended. I've been told that this is the perfect packing snow. Families are out here as it get, it's as getting later. People are starting to go in, but just to get out of danger's way, I'm going to head over here to look at the road. So Manado Park, we know, was hit pretty bad in October. And right now it's pretty slushy, but the roads do seem more plowed earlier into the snowstorm than they were in October, which is really good. Another thing with that is that people have been driving about five to 10 under the speed limit and leaving a lot of space in between them for you know people crossing pedestrians. People know there's a lot out right now who are sweating, so being cautious is the best if you're over in this area. But I will inform you of what else is going on in the area in the 6 p.m. newscast reporting in Manado Park, Morgan Trow, Creme 2 News. Okay, Morgan, stay safe out there. Well, as the snowstorm is hitting our region, thank you to our viewers for sending in these photos here at Creme. We love to share how you're taking on the snow. And Mark and I both think that this is a donkey. Yeah, from <laughs> so Shrek. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Okay, <laughs> keep sending us your content and your photos to the Near Me section of the Creme 2 mobile app. In the meantime, the Creme 2 Storm Tracker 2 team is tracking the latest updates. Stay up to speed by heading to creme.com or download the Creme 2 app, and that way you never miss an update. Or just simply text the word SNOW to 509-448-2000, and then we'll send all those updates directly to your phone. In other news now, Governor Jay Inslee extending statewide restrictions amid aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19. Now the restrictions will be in place through at least January 11th. They were originally set to expire on Monday, January 4th. Now the restrictions ban indoor dining, fitness classes and social gatherings are only allowed if they are outdoors. State leaders say they are developing an updated reopening plan that will provide a pathway for businesses and workers impacted by this order to reopen safely. You can find the latest developments through this story on creme.com. All right, to coronavirus news now, the Spokane Regional Health District reporting eight more COVID-19 deaths today. That brings the total number of COVID deaths in the county to 365. This comes as the district also reports 146 new cases Wednesday, bringing the total number of cases to 25,945. 65 Spokane County residents are currently hospitalized with the coronavirus. Meantime, in North Idaho, public health officials are reporting 253 new cases today. So far, Idaho's five northern counties have seen 16,268 cases of COVID-19 since the pandemic began. No new COVID deaths were reported in North Idaho today. 166 people have died from the coronavirus so far, and currently 86 people are hospitalized with COVID-19 in North Idaho. Well, nearly 150 employees at a Costco in Yakima County have coronavirus. Here's what we know right now. 145 staff members tested positive and they are in quarantine right now. Health officials say the sharp increase in cases mimics activity that happens after a super spreader event. Now, Costco is continuing to provide site wide testing for its employees. The Yakima Health District saying it has not required any businesses to close due to coronavirus infections. The mayor of Liberty Lake is stepping down. Mayor Shane Brickner says he is doing so in order to spend more time with his family. Brickner stated he recently had a health issue with his heart. In a statement, Brickner says, quote, it would be easy to say I needed to slow down to not work as much as I have, but I don't know any other way. You can read his entire statement on our website. Just head to creme.com. All right, still ahead here on Crimson News at 5 tonight. We continue our December snowstorm coverage at this hour. Road conditions looking like this earlier today on I-90. Next, we'll bring you a live look at mountain pass conditions, including which lanes are open. 
And before we go to break, check out these cuties. Ingrid R sent us these photos of her cats enjoying the day. Look at that, so cute. We'd love to share your snow pics, so please send them to us using the Near Me section on the Creme2 mobile app. Love those. We'll be right back.